Please subscribe, like and share this video. Thank you for your support. 2 U.S. Code Chapter 30, Operation and Maintenance of Capital Complex. 2 U.S. Code Sub Chapter 4, Child Care. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 2061, Designation of Play Areas on Capital Grounds for Children Attending Daycare Center. A. Authority of Capital Police Board notwithstanding any other provision of law and subject to the provisions of Paragraph 1 of Subsection B. The Capital Police Board is authorized to designate certain portions of the Capital Grounds, other than a portion within the area bounded on the north by Constitution Avenue, on the south by Independence Avenue, on the east by First Street, and on the west by First Street, for use exclusively as play areas for the benefit of children attending a daycare center which is established for the primary purpose of providing child care for the children of members and employees of the Senate or the House of Representatives. B. Required approval, fences, termination of authority. 1. In the case of any such designation referred to in subsection A. Involving a daycare center established for the benefit of children of members and employees of the Senate, the designation shall be with the approval of the Senate Committee on Rules and Administration, and in the case of such a center established for the benefit of children of members and employees of the House of Representatives, the designation shall be with the approval of the House Committee on House Oversight, with the concurrence of the House Office Building Commission. 2. The architect of the Capitol shall enclose with offense any area designated pursuant to subsection A as a play area. 3. The authority to use an area designated pursuant to subsection A as a play area may be terminated at any time by the committee which approved such designation. C. Playground equipment. Required approval nothing in this or any other act shall be construed as prohibiting any daycare center referred to in subsection A from placing playground equipment within an area designated pursuant to subsection A for use solely in connection with the operation of such center, subject to, in the case of a daycare center established for the benefit of children of members and employees of the Senate, the approval of the Senate Committee on Rules and Administration, and in the case of such a center established for the benefit of children of members and employees of the House of Representatives, the approval of the House Committee on House Oversight, with the concurrence of the House Office Building Commission. D. Daycare Center The Daycare Center referred to in S. Rees. 269, 98th Congress, First Session, is a daycare center for which space may be designated under subsection A for use as a play area. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 2062, House of Representatives Child Care Center, A. Maintenance and Operation, Admission of Children, 1. The Chief Administrative Officer of the House of Representatives shall maintain and operate the Child Care Center, to be known as the House of Representatives Child Care Center, to furnish preschool child care and, subject to the approval of regulations by the Committee on House Administration, child care for school-aged children other than during the course of the ordinary school day, a. For children of individuals whose pay is dispersed by the Chief Administrative Officer of the House of Representatives and children of support personnel of the House of Representatives, b. If places are available after admission of all children who are eligible under subparagraph A, for children of individuals whose pay is dispersed by the Secretary of the Senate and children of employees of agencies of the legislative branch, and C, if places are available after admission of all children who are eligible under subparagraph A or B, for children of employees of other offices, departments, and agencies of the federal government. 2. Children shall be admitted to the center on a non-discriminatory basis and without regard to any office or position held by their parents. B. Advisory board, membership, functions, etc. 1. A. The Speaker of the House of Representatives shall appoint 15 individuals, of whom 7 shall be upon recommendation of the Minority Leader of the House of Representatives, to serve without pay, as members of an advisory board for the center. The board shall, I. Provide advice to the Chief Administrative Officer on matters of policy relating to the administration and operation of the center, including the selection of the director of the center, to be chosen from among members of the House of Representatives, spouses of members, parents of children enrolled in the center, and other individuals with expertise in child care or interest in the center, and three, serve during the Congress in which they are appointed, except that a member of the board may continue to serve after the expiration of a term until a successor is appointed. B. The director of the center shall serve as an additional member of the board, ex officio and without the right to vote. 2. A vacancy on the board shall be filled in the manner in which the original appointment is made. 3. The chairman of the board shall be elected by the members of the board. C. Duties of Chief Administrative Officer of House of Representatives in carrying out subsection A. The Chief Administrative Officer is authorized 1. To collect fees for child care services 2. To accept such gifts of money and property as may be approved by the Chairman and the Ranking Minority Party Member of the Committee on House Oversight of the House of Representatives, acting jointly and 3. To employ a director and other employees for the Center D. Salaries and Expenses 
Funding limits. 1. There is established in the Treasury of the United States a revolving fund for the House of Representatives to be known as the House Child Care Center Revolving Fund, hereafter in the section referred to as the fund, consisting of the amounts received under subsection C and any other funds deposited by the Chief Administrative Officer of the House of Representatives from amounts received by the House of Representatives with respect to the operation of the center, except as provided in paragraphs 2 and 3, the fund shall be the exclusive source for all salaries and expenses for activities carried out under this section. 2. With respect to employees of the center, the House of Representatives shall make government contributions and payments for health insurance, retirement, employment taxes, and similar benefits and programs, including the subsidies provided on behalf of employees of the center as a result of reductions in the amount of tuition otherwise charged with respect to children of such employees under paragraph 4. In the same manner as such contributions and payments are made for other employees of the House of Representatives, 3. The House of Representatives shall make payments from amounts provided in Appropriations Acts for salaries and expenses of the Office of the Chief Administrative Officer for the following activities carried out under the section. A. The payment of the salary of the Director of the Center, and, at the option of the Chief Administrative Officer during an emergency situation, the payment of the salary of other employees of the Center. B. The cost of training classes and conferences for individuals employed by the Center in connection with the provision of child care services, together with the cost of travel, including transportation and subsistence incurred in connection with such classes and conferences. C. During an emergency situation, the payment of such other expenses for activities carried out under this section as the Chief Administrative Officer determines appropriate. 4. In the case of a child of an employee of the center who is furnished care at the center, the Chief Administrative Officer shall reduce the amount of tuition otherwise charged with respect to such child during the month by the greater of a. 50% or b. Such percentage as may be necessary to ensure that the total amount of tuition paid by the employee with respect to all children of the employee who are furnished care at the center during the month does not exceed $1,000. E. Fund as category of allowances and expenses. The fund shall be treated as a category of allowances and expenses for purposes of Section 5507 of this title. F. Definitions as used in this section. 1. The term, Member of the House of Representatives means a representative in, or a delegate or resident commissioner to, the Congress. 2. The term, Agency of the Legislative Branch means the Office of the Architect of the Capitol, the Botanic Garden, the Government Accountability Office, the Government Publishing Office, the Library of Congress, the Office of Technology Assessment, the Congressional Budget Office, and the Copyright Royalty Tribunal, and 3. The term, Support Personnel means, with respect to the House of Representatives, any employee of a credit union or of the architect of the Capitol, whose principal duties are to support the functions of the House of Representatives. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 2063, Senate Employee Child Care Center. A. Applicability of provisions The provisions of this section shall apply to any individual who is employed by the Senate Daycare Center, known as the Senate Employee Child Care Center and hereafter in this section referred to as the Center established pursuant to Senate Resolution 269, 98th Congress, and Section 2061 of this title. B. Employee election of health care insurance coverage Any individual described under subsection A who is employed by the center on or after August 14, 1991, shall be deemed an employee under Section 8901-1 of Title V for purposes of health insurance coverage under Chapter 89 of such title. An individual described under subsection A who is an employee of the center on August 14, 1991, may elect coverage under this subsection during the 31-day period beginning on August 14, 1991, and during such periods as determined by the Office of Personnel Management for employees of the center employed after August 14, 1991, C. Deductions and withholding from employee pay The center shall make such deductions and withholdings from the pay of an individual described under subsection A. Who is an employee of the center in accordance with subsection D. Of this section. D. Employee records. Amount of deductions The center shall 1. Maintain records on all employees covered under this section in such manner as the Secretary of the Senate may require for administrative purposes, and 2. After consultation with the Secretary of the Senate, a. Make deductions from the pay of employees of amounts determined in accordance with Section 8906 of Title V, and b. Transmit such deductions to the Secretary of the Senate for deposit and remittance to the Office of Personnel Management. e. Government contributions Government contributions for individuals receiving benefits under this section, as computed under Section 8906 of Title V, shall be made by the Secretary of the Senate from the Appropriations Account, within the Contingent Fund of the Senate, miscellaneous items. F. Regulations The Office of Personnel Management may prescribe regulations to carry out the provisions of this section. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 2064, Senate Employee Child Care Center Employee Benefits. A. Elections for coverage The provisions of this section shall apply to any individual who, 1. A. On October 6th, 
1992, is employed by the Senate Daycare Center, known as the Senate Employee Child Care Center, established pursuant to Senate Resolution 269, 98th Congress, and Section 2061 of this title, and b makes an election to be covered by this section with the Secretary of the Senate, no later than 60 days after October 6, 1992, or 2 is hired by the Center after October 6, 1992, and makes an election to be covered by this section with the Secretary of the Senate, no later than 60 days after the date such individual begins employment. b Payment of deposit payroll deduction 1 any individual described under subsection a may be credited 1 under section 8411 of title 5 for service as an employee of the senate daycare center before january 1st 1993 if such employee makes a payment of the deposit under section 8411 f2 of such title without application of the provisions of section 8411 b3 of such title 2 an individual described under subsection a shall be credited under section 8411 of title 5 for any service as an employee of the Senate Daycare Center on or after October 6, 1992, if such employee has such amounts deducted and withheld from his pay as determined by the Office of Personnel Management, in accordance with regulations prescribed by such office subject to subsection H of this section, which would be deducted and withheld from the basic pay of an employee under Section 8422 of Title V. C. Survivor annuities and disability benefits notwithstanding any other provision of this section, any service performed by an individual described under subsection A as an employee of the Senate Daycare Center is deemed to be civilian service creditable under Section 8411 of Title V for purposes of qualifying for survivor annuities and disability benefits under subchapters 4 and V of Chapter 84 of such title, if such individual makes payment of an amount determined by the Office of Personnel Management, which would have been deducted and withheld from the basic pay of such individual if such individual had been an employee subject to Section 8422 of Title V for such period so credited, together with interest thereon. D. Participation in Thrift Savings Plan An individual described under subsection A shall be deemed a congressional employee for purposes of Chapter 84 of Title V including subchapter 3 thereof and may make contributions under Section 8432 of such title effective for the first applicable pay period beginning on or after October 6, 1992. E. Life insurance coverage An individual described under subsection A shall be deemed an employee under Section 8701A3 of Title V for purposes of life insurance coverage under Chapter 87 of such title. F. Government contributions Government contributions for individuals receiving benefits under this section, as computed under Sections 8423, 8432, and 8708, too, shall be made by the Secretary of the Senate from the Appropriations Account, within the Contingent Fund of the Senate, miscellaneous items. G. Certification of creditable service The Office of Personnel Management shall accept the certification of the Secretary of the Senate concerning creditable service for the purpose of this section. H. Payment to center of amounts equal to federal tax on employers 1. Subject to the provisions of paragraph 2, the Secretary of the Senate shall pay such amounts to the Senate Daycare Center equal to the tax on employers under Section 3111 of Title 26 with respect to each employee of the Senate Daycare Center. Such payments shall be made from the appropriations account within the contingent fund of the Senate. Miscellaneous items. 2. The Senate Daycare Center shall provide appropriate documentation to the Secretary of the Senate of payment by such center of the tax described under paragraph 1. One, before the Secretary of the Senate may pay any amount to such center as provided under paragraph 1. I. Administrative provisions the center shall 1. Consult with the Secretary of the Senate on the administration of this section. 2. Maintain records on all employees covered under this section in such manner as the Secretary of the Senate may require for administrative purposes. 3. Make deductions and withholdings from the pay of employees in the amounts determined under sections 8422, 8432, and 8707 of Title V. And 4. Trans Transmit such deductions and withholdings to the Secretary of the Senate for deposit and remittance to the Office of Personnel Management. J. Regulations The Office of Personnel Management may prescribe regulations to carry out the provisions of this section. 2 U.S. Code Paragraph 2065, Reimbursement of Senate Daycare Center Employees. A. Cost of training classes, conferences, and related expenses notwithstanding Section 1345 of Title 31, the Secretary of the Senate may reimburse any individual employed by the Senate Daycare Center for the cost of training classes and conferences in connection with the provision of child care services and for travel, transportation, and subsistence expenses incurred in connection with the training classes and conferences. B. Documentation The Senate Daycare Center shall certify and provide appropriate documentation to the Secretary of the Senate with respect to any reimbursement under this section. Reimbursements under this section shall be made from the appropriations account, miscellaneous items within the contingent fund of the Senate on vouchers approved by the Secretary of the Senate. 
C. Regulations and limitations reimbursements under this section shall be subject to the regulations and limitations prescribed by the Committee on Rules and Administration of the Senate for travel and related expenses for which payment is authorized to be made from the contingent fund of the Senate. D. Effective date this section shall be effective on and after October 1st, 1996.